What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Finally doing the top speed run on the MX650 after we did the overvolt conversion um, installation. It's now running four batteries and fully charged. It shows 52 volts, uh, but it dies down quickly to like 50 volts uh, as soon as you ride it like 100 yards, but that's about what I expected. So let's go see how fast this thing's gonna go. Hopefully, I hit something like 25 miles an hour. If not, I'm going to continue to do more modifications. So let's find out. Since I didn't reach my goal of minimum 25 miles an hour, I'm going to be installing this 13 tooth sprocket I got from eBay to replace the factory sprocket on the motor, which is an 11 tooth. First step is to remove the two Phillips drive screws on the cover. Once you have the plastic cover out of the way, you can then pull down on the chain tensioner and try to wiggle the chain off of the front sprocket. If you have trouble doing this, you could still uninstall the sprocket with the chain on. No big deal. To loosen the sprocket off the motor, you have to hold the shaft in place with a 10 mm open-ended wrench and a 12 mm socket and turn the ratchet clockwise since the shaft is reverse thread. Once you get the nut off, you can use the open-ended wrench to pry between the sprocket and the motor to break it loose from the shaft. Make sure to reinstall this washer between the nut and the new sprocket. Install the new sprocket with the raised lip facing the outside. You can use one hand to push down on the chain tensioner to create enough slack in the chain so you can wiggle the sprocket in place. Once it's fully seated in place, reinstall the washer and the 12 millimeter nut onto the shaft to secure everything. Please remember that this is reverse thread, so when you are tightening it, turn counterclockwise. Spin the rear sprocket counterclockwise a few times and just look over the chain and make sure everything lines up perfectly before you reinstall the plastic cover. Now let's find out how much faster this bike's going to be versus the stock 11 tooth sprocket.
Okay, it's official. I finally reached 10 miles an hour faster than its factory form. So now my top speed is 26.8 miles an hour and flat ground with being 175 pounds. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Uh, I would like to go 30 eventually, but coming from 16.8 to 26.8 for less than $300 in mods, all I did was the 48 volt um, fast scooters overvolt kit, fourth battery and a sprocket change. Uh, one thing I did notice with the sprocket change is it did take away a lot of the low end torque, um, but the top speed is noticeably faster coming from, uh, I think it was like 23.5, 23.8 uh, before the sprocket change to 26.8. The 26.8 uh, is definitely noticeably faster uh, but it is a little bit more sluggish from a stop so keep that in mind if you are considering uh, doing the sprocket change to get more top speed if you are looking for low-end grunt um, you know to try to do wheelies and stuff don't do the sprocket change just do the 48 volt conversion if you are interested in checking out the products that i've used so far along with the tools that i use i will leave links in the description where you can get everything but i think this combination of parts that i've done so far is the most cost effective way to get close to 27 miles an hour possible since uh, other options are to do like the 60 volt or 72 volt kits uh, which in involves changing the controller, doing a lithium battery and like a brushless motor and it can just get to well over a thousand dollars if you de decide to do that but that is actually something I'm probably going to consider later on but if you found today's video to be helpful in any way do me a favor and hit that like button if you like this kind of content want to keep up with this project consider subscribing to my channel but this is going to be it for today thank you for watching